Okay, we'll come back to the next question. Sheikh, there's a, a sister saying that her mother-in-law is living with her and she's always uh, causing her issues in the home. And they're always fighting, she forgives her, and then they fight again. And then recently the mother-in-law has actually physically hurt the sister. And she said that she's never going to forgive the mother-in-law again. And so the sister is asking if Allah will forgive her uh, for not forgiving her mother-in-law. Do you have many questions? Well, uh, yes and no answers would suffice. Because I don't have any other speakers to share the floor with me. So I can speak as much as I want. Alhamdulillah. The issue of mother-in-law and daughter-in-law is a very sensitive issue. The short answer, will Allah forgive her? This is up to Allah Azza wa Jal, not to me. So don't worry about your right. On the day of judgment, you will take it. Unless you forgive, then you will be doubled the reward because Allah is most forgiving. I usually say this story, but it is not true. So is it a lie, Sheikh? Well, it's for a better cause. I usually say it to my married daughters when they complain. So I tell them that a woman came to me and she asked me about her mother-in-law and she's causing her a lot of problems in the house and they live in a joint family and she doesn't know what to do. And I told her, are you up to doing whatever it needs to get rid of her? She said, yes. I said, even killing her? She thought for a while, I said, yeah. So I gave her a bottle and I said, put two drops in every meal you prepare for her. It has to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And come back after one month with the good news and with a handsome payment. So she left. After two weeks, she came back. And she started crying and saying, I seek Allah's forgiveness. I don't want to go through this. Please give me the antidote. Give me the medication that would take this poison off her system. So I said, why? Why the change of heart? She said, I don't know. My mother-in-law all of a sudden started to treat me well, started to care for me, started to love me. And I don't want to kill her. I don't want to harm her. I said, don't worry. What I gave you was only drops of water. It's unharmful. The change of heart was because you prepared three meals for your mother-in-law and you present it to her. Once you're kind to her, she started treating you kindly. And this is what's happening. The same thing happens in homes. When you treat everyone else as a rival or as an enemy, you will only receive negative treatment. But if you treat others with respect, even if they once make an error and you respect them, and you're kind to them, and you treat them well, they are forced and bound to treat you well. But this is not the time to the path of the husband's heart, it's the path to Jannah. And inshallah, if you do well with people, for the sake of Allah, it doesn't harm you. If they abuse you or hurt you or say bad things to you, I could care less. I'm doing what I'm doing for Allah Azza wa Jal, and whatever comes, this would be inshallah, in my record book and Allah knows best.